All right, Bodhi, second video of the day. It's Tuesday, or no, Wednesday the 14th. Yeah, so second video. Unfortunately, that that music is blaring. I don't know what's what the effect on this video is going to be. But Bodhi, let's do the second video, okay? Ready? Ready, Bodhi, go. Good boy. Let's go this way. Hopefully we get away from that noise. Man, that music is so loud right now. I'm taking it you guys can hear it at home. Oh yeah. I was still in track in college, so I was nine. Quick proud and me, go play. Go play. He wants to play with you. Hey, what's that on your bicep? Oh I saw like Volter. Oh okay. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. I got this one wow. since I last saw you and this one. I don't know why. Yeah, I've seen this one. Yeah. Uh, is it a hornet or? Bumblebee. Uh, bumblebee. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why, but I expect the guy on the pole, pole vaulting, I expect it to move for some reason. <laughs> it <does> move. <laughs> because it looks like it's... Oh, let's see that again. Let's see that again. That's funny. Oh, my gosh. Hey Sheldon, how are you? Yeah, so they have that music blaring. Uh, that song, I don't even know what it is uh, because I don't really listen to modern music that much. I mean, like music in the last, I don't know five to ten years I really don't listen to it I listen uh, mostly to, like my favorite genres are uh, rock and roll like 1950s 60s uh, Motown uh, let me see classic rock that sort of thing so that's more of like my genre oh also I blues blues music I enjoy that very much uh, basically anything up tempo but yeah, if it's been made in say like the last, I don't know, eight, if it's been made in the last eight years, maybe even almost 10 years, I really don't recognize a lot of those songs. So, so yeah. Yeah, well, you know what? So when a little bit of history, when I was about 12 years old, that's when I saw like a documentary on like rock and roll and like, you know, like 1950s and 60s rock and roll and uh, Motown, the old R&B, all of that. And I, that's what I fell in love with. And uh, that's just basically what I've always listened to. And then like the modern music, I stopped listening to, let me see, I stopped listening to modern music in say like the late 2000s. And then that was like, that was like it. Yeah. So. That's still pretty late. Yeah, I guess so. Well. My high school, college era is when mine kind of stopped. Yeah. Hey, no. Got Spotify. Just have a master list. Oh yeah. Yeah. What's that? What'd you do, buddy? There's that nose blow. What's that? What's that? Yeah, so I used to watch, I don't know if you remember, like, when MTV used to actually play music videos. Yeah. Very early on, in the beginning of yeah. the era they, they music stopped, videos. They stopped playing uh, music videos in about the, I would say the late, two, like, basically in the 2010s, they stopped playing music videos. Oh, yeah, I've, I've seen, yeah, the old reruns of the, you know what I like watching that's really old? Well, I like watching that fantastic music acts. And if you guys haven't seen it, I invite you guys to check it out. The Ed Sullivan Show. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you've ever seen that. What was that. Ed Sullivan's the story that the Doors played on there? Yeah. They didn't want them to say higher. Can't get much higher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they did it anyway. They censored one of the Rolling Stones songs too. They said they, said, they played it anyway. That, oh, let's spend the, the night the together. The guy came and told the manager that you guys should never play on the show again. He goes, 
Why yeah, we want to play this show again? We've yeah. already done it. <laughs> oh, gosh. So I, I think the way the story goes is the Rolling Stones were on there, and they have a song called Let's Spend the Night Together. And they, uh, I believe they changed the lyrics to Let's Spend Some Time Together. Yeah, yeah. 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 They folded it too. Yeah. And it ruined their career, didn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> They'll never play again. Who's that preacher? Be nice. You know what? But I'll tell you one thing. I admire Mick Jagger because yeah. that dude oh, yeah. is almost 80 years old. Old, if he's not 80 years old, and his waist is smaller than mine. Come on, Let's go. Too much attention. Two on one. I think it, I think Mick Jagger has about a size 26 waist. Oh, is that right? And he's like yeah, he's what? Thin. He's about 80 years old. Yeah. Have you seen that guy? Have you seen clips of him? Not lately. Nothing is his energy level has not changed. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. No, 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 no. He, yeah, exactly. you know, no, no, actually, he stopped doing that's drugs. Chris, that's Richard, right? Supposedly, Richard. supposedly he stopped doing drugs oh. dec decades ago. Oh. You get too excited, Bob? Poor Panda. Like, uh. No, I don't think he could do that, continue to do that act if he was still on drugs. Whenever some 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 rocker or movie star dies of drug overdose. Oh, yeah, people act all shocked. This newspaper. No, they show this, they show this meme that shows... Keith Richards re reading a newspaper and says, oh, oh another guy yeah. that I've outlived, that you know? But I would say about oh, half the members of that band are, are dead. Oh, yeah. Because he had, uh, I believe oh, no, which it was one? Brian Jones. I believe he was actually the founder of the Rolling Stones. He died, I think, back in the 60s. Oh, okay. yeah. uh, somehow drowned, I think he drowned in a swimming pool. Uh, uh, but it was like very mysterious, I think. Maybe they suspected it might may have been the girlfriend or something. I don't know. Maybe I have that story wrong. You guys at home can correct me. So Brian Jones, I believe that's his name. Uh, who else? Uh, obviously the drummer uh, Watts. I forget his first name. He died more recently. He, that's old age. He's he's been the the original drummer like all along. And then uh, let me see one more guy died. Okay. Uh, you know what? I think one of the guitarists. I think one of the guitarists died more recently. I thought. I'm trying to think because they've gone through a. They've had a few different guitars that would come in and leave, come in and leave. But the names escape me right now. Wait, wait, wait. Was it was it Ronnie Wood? Did he die? I, uh, hey, no, 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 no. Hey. No, out of there. No. No, leave it. Hey, no. no. Uh, over spit up. Really? Sorry about that, Gary. No problem, man. Uh, yeah, thanks. I should have just dropped this rope and grabbed him. I'm like, Garrett, grab him, Garrett. I'm like, Get, grab him, Garrett, with the rope in my hand. Bodie, what you doing? How you been, bud? Yeah, shame on you, Bodie. I haven't seen you in a long time. Yeah, that's not how you greet people who've been gone for a long time. Dave's been gone a long time. <laughs> Is that the memory you want to make with him? I think that's the first time you and Bodie went at it. I believe it was all air, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't think the guy's doing it. Wait, so whose spit up was that anyway? Uh, oh, Panda. So Panda instigated the entire thing. That, yeah. that, that was his plan all along. Oh, I'm going to spit this up and watch them fight. Fight over my drool. Fight over my drool. Was that Brian and the family guy? You done with that? <laughs> All right, Bodhi. Hey. Come on, Bodhi. Good boy. No, you don't want to play with this? No? Okay. Yeah, I'm surprised there aren't more people in here. Is it 5.30 yet? It is 5.35. It's 5.35, okay. 
Yo, like, there's someone's baking. Oh, yeah. There's really? There's, like, there's one homeless guy. He was, like, um, he was trying to get kids to, like, follow him to the restroom. And he had, like, what? He had, like, knives and stuff. And, like, yeah. and then, like, and then so, so the cops arrested him. And, like, I, I, like, got him. And like, he said he was suicidal. So the cops just brought, brought, took us to, uh, took him to, like, Wow. And, like, and, like when he got there, he was, like, refusing on his meds. So, then, like, so like, after, after three days, there's like a call of, there's something called a roost hearing. So then like they go to like court or whatever, like they go to like psych court and then they say like um if the if the court um feels like they should be on meds, like then like we can like release them and then, like um so if they refuse, next time they refuse we they get the injection. So, oh, so oh. it's like it's like the floody is so, like, Lethal injection? No, just like the just, No, like, I'm just so messing just, with like, it. The, just like have all like that and oh. like so it's the funniest wow. when they when they first like when they when they when they like kind of cop they get kind of cocky. Oh no, I don't I don't I don't do that. So like they don't know that. <laughs> Bodhi. Is that a pineapple? I think it's. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Well, it's a pineapple with a face on it. I can see that. Yeah. That makes more sense. I used to actually grow pineapples. Yeah. Just take a, a chunk of it up yeah so you you chop off the top right. and then you uh stick it in water and it starts to sprout roots and then you just you can just uh plant it like in a planter uh -huh. and if you want if it's a big enough planter it, it can grow in there like the whole time oh, but but yeah uh no you don't necessarily have to put it in the ground it could just stay in the planter but i probably grew about maybe five pineapples yeah and they produce fruit all that yeah Really good. Oh yeah, really good. Really good. And sometimes one plant will produce multiple pineapples. Oh wow. Yeah. But it can take. Gosh, it can take like almost two years. Oh really? Yeah. I was gonna ask. Is it months? Or just yeah. It, it can take almost two years, but I mean it's worth it, though. I don't know. So you go to the stores, what? A buck a pound? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the fact that you grew it yourself and then it becomes it, it a nice. It, it becomes there. like a nice little conversation yeah. piece. But the only thing that you have to beware is frost. Oh, okay. well, frost will make them die back. Frost idea, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, we're, a lot of times time. you have to, what we would do is drag them in the garage overnight okay. and then put them back out at dawn. We do get some frost. I know I yeah. come out every now and then in the morning, to, there's frost all over the roofs of the houses and the top of the car. Right, right. right. So there is that. Well, this particular year wouldn't be a good pineapple growing year. It's been very cool here. Frosty, I yeah. I don't remember having to scrape my windshield. Every now and then. Oh, okay. I, I, went, yeah. I went up to Bishop one time for work previous year. Yeah. The last time I went, had to been uh, six six years ago. Okay. While up there at Smart Final, they they sold the the, the, the ice scrapers for the windshield. You know? Oh wow. So I picked up one. I leave it in my little uh, console. Okay. Every now and then, when I wake up and there's frost on my windshield, yeah. four in the morning, get to scrape it down real easy instead of wrestling with it with my. Uh, Credit card, you know. Yeah. Works out pretty good. When is Alex coming back? Oh, he's he's back. He's just at work today. Oh, he's at work. Okay. I think he's off. I want to say Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, Friday, oh, Saturday, okay. something like that. I see. So I got off. Bring him over by myself. Oh, I see. Okay. Bodhi, don't leave me hanging over here. Bodhi, come. Bodhi, come. No, Lewis today. I guess not. You know what? He was here yesterday. Yeah, he was hey, yesterday. no. He left pretty early. Well, so did you for that yeah, yeah. Yeah, the emerged. Oh, she did. Okay. No. Mario. Oh, okay. What Kai do? Okay. Hey. Bodie, look. Look, I got your rope toy. Come on. Get that energy out. Good boy. Good boy. Let's go. Get that energy out. Come on. Good boy. Yep. 
Oh, close one. You know what? I think he did whack it out of my hand one time. Oh, well, he got me between the legs, unfortunately. <laughs> what you doing way over there, Bodie, huh? So I want to get closer, but that music, that music is definitely going to give me a copyright strike. I shouldn't have said that because that's probably, probably going to happen. Good boy, Bodie. Yeah, so we were just talking about synthesizers and auto-tune. I believe that's what you call it, the voice, right? Auto-tune? I believe that's what it's called. And then, I don't know if some of you watching, if you remember, or maybe you've heard about it, the whole Milli Vanilli thing, where it was, it was two, I think it was two, maybe, uh, what do you call it? Uh, trying to put it in a nice way. They were, they were uh, <laughs> I'm trying to explain the guys who were behind the scene. Portly men, portly gentlemen, who uh, didn't have the look. Oh, look at that. Who is that? And, uh, yeah, they put Rob and Fab out front. That's Millie Vanilli. And they were, dance they were dancers. They were handsome, but they couldn't sing. And some music exec came up with the idea, hey, we have these guys over here who are ugly and old. They can sing good. Yeah, they can sing good, they but they're not marketable. The face, be the face of the band. Yeah, so that's what we'll do. So he's Robin Fab. Now, one of them, I forget which one, committed suicide years after. And then the other one, it might be Rob. Yeah, I think it's... So Fab, I forget the last name. He committed suicide. The one named Rob actually ended up taking vocal lessons and can actually sing now. Oh, really? oh, wow. Yes, he can sing now. Because I remember they were like, no, no, we can sing. And then they started to kind of just... Yeah, it was pretty bad. Yeah, it, was bad. it was bad. It was bad. But really Rob bad. can actually sing. Yeah. It's unbelievable. He, he just never lived down the other one, though. That's the problem. Yeah. Should have done that first. Yeah. Uh -oh. Rob and Fab. Mad. Sometimes he does. You know what? I think what happened, they were on... Let me see. I know they were on national TV. I don't know if it's Saturday Night Live. Yeah, yeah. The, it was that song, Girl, You Know It's yeah, True. That was their big song. Yeah. And then it's like... All of a sudden, in one part of the song, it goes, girl, you know it, girl, you know it, girl, you know it, girl. It started skipping. And then, like, I think they both ran off the stage or one of them ran off the stage. Well, I mean, that's happened to other people. Yeah. Oh, it happened to, uh, what's her name? Is it Ashley Simpson? Jessica Simpson's sister. Yeah, it happened to her on Saturday Night Live where the track got stuck. And then she started saying, I was sick that day, and da, da, and you know. She can kind of, sort of sing, yeah. but yeah, yeah, but she is using the, uh, she's using the track. But you know what, I think maybe even Mariah Carey has used the track, but just because she was like under the weather, or whatever, she can actually sing, but you know what, there are nights or occasions where your voice just isn't going to work, yeah. Usually, usually what the issue is sometimes where they'll use that track is uh, it has to do something with there's something wrong with the sound in the arena or something where the singer. OK, I think this is the common issue. The singer cannot hear uh, the music, so they can't keep timing. Of the echo. Right. That's why, so, that's why they all have the earpiece. Right for uh, Whitney Houston because basically she ruined her voice because she, you know she smoked crack and did cocaine and all kinds of different drugs and she screwed up her voice and then like towards the end of her career I believe she's in Australia and I think she was maybe trying I don't know if she's trying to sing like I will always love you she couldn't sing it can't sing it anymore and they booed her off the stage they actually booed her off the stage yeah that's got to be uh that's got to be, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's got to be uh, ego pressure. Yeah, but she, I mean, she, it's unfortunate, but she did it to herself. Yeah. Yeah, a fun fact that a lot of people may not know, but 
uh, Whitney Houston's mother was one of Elvis's background singers. Oh, wow. And the founder of the Sweet Inspirations. Is she uh, somehow related to Dionne Warwick also? Is that yes, uh, that is uh, her cousin, I believe. Oh, okay. Whitney Houston Whitney just Houston. passed away. Oh, no. Right? It's been a while. Oh, no, that's been a while. That's Wait, been like. just passed away. 2010 or she something? Just 2000. It's, it's been a while since she Yeah, it's been a while. But there was a. Uh, and then her daughter died. There was too. another singer, though. Uh, Recently? She, yeah, she just passed away a couple days ago. Oh, 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 weeks ago was Tina Turner. Tina Turner, that's Yeah, right. yeah, that's Tina true. Turner was awesome, man. That, she was a real rocker. She had an awesome voice, awesome energy. Hey, go play. Great dancer, too. Yeah. Go play. Get in the Mad Max series. Who runs Barter Town? <laughs> Yeah, Tina Turner, I think that was, what, like two weeks ago, I think? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of the greats died pretty recently. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're getting up there in age. Uh, like well, Chuck Berry was a few years ago. Yeah. Little Richard died, I don't know if it was last year or the year before. Yeah. Prince died, what, 10 years ago? Less than that, maybe? Less than that, less than that, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think died on the elevator, I think. Oh, well, is that right? Yeah. In his elevator, I should say. Oh, yeah, David Bowie, yeah. yeah. Man. David Bowie wasn't even old. Not that old, anyway. All right, guys. I guess enough with the music history. Bodhi, you about ready to wrap up, Bodhi, huh? It's been a pleasure bringing this video to you. Hope we didn't talk too much about music, but uh, they've been playing that music like crazy over the loudspeaker, and uh, that's just where my mind goes. Uh, but uh, let's go, Bodhi, up. Good boy, Bodhi. Bodhi, sit. Oh, hi. How you doing, huh? Sit. Yeah, so we're going to wrap this video. We appreciate you all. Hopefully, we captured... Uh, something that you found of interest. Uh, by the way, I just wanted to say real quick, Diane left an awesome comment where she talked about how uh, she lives on the same street where uh, the band ACDC, where they grew up. I don't know if she's talking about uh, the two brothers. I believe it's uh, two brothers. What is it? Like Angus Young and I forget the name of the other brother. But... Uh, yeah, where, where they grew up. She lives on that same street, so that's pretty awesome. Hey! No! What is he doing? Bodhi, come! That's not even yours. Bodhi, let's go now! So a guy has a toy over there, and Bodhi wants it like crazy. Bodhi, come! Let's go! Bodhi, let's go, let's go, up, up, Bodhi, up. Oh, gosh. Bodhi, come. Now Bodhi just has to prove he's the fastest. I don't know what he's doing. No. No. Let's go, up, up. Good boy. Sit. Sit. Hey, shh. sit, three, stay. Luna. All right, guys. Yeah, like I said, uh, Diane, maybe you can clarify, Diane, if it's the entire band grew up on your street or uh, just the two brothers, Angus Young, and I forget the name of the other brother of ACDC. But yeah, when I read your comment, I was thunderstruck. Okay, bad joke. But anyhow, hey, no, Bodhi, come. Come on, let's go now. Let's go. Up, up, up. No, up. Hey, I promise you guys, we're going to wrap this video. Sit. Sit. Something's over that, there that Bodhi really wants. But we appreciate you watching. Uh, if you can, leave a comment or question down below. If you make it kind of short, we'll include in the future video. Also, we want to thank everyone who watches the ads that help support Bodhi, along with those of you who, has, who have played Bodhi's playlist. That is a great help. We appreciate that. And those of you who the thanks button. Now, before we go, we want to read off a few names. Hey, no! No! 
Baldy, come now. Up. Okay, sit. No. Sit. Sit. I promise you we're wrapping this video. Okay, we're going to read off a few names of people who watched previous videos and left comments. Outlaw Gaming, Terry Gen Gentil, Lorna McKenzie, Anna G, Diane, KF, Lori Love, Iman, Anna Matovic, Eileen Crabtree. Also, I want to let you guys know that Outlaw Gaming has its own YouTube channel, so if you can, please check them out. All right, guys, that's it. We hope we'll see you on the next episode of Bodhi's World. Everyone, stay safe and take care.